worship tonight. Come on, put your hands together. Iron Sharpener is a radio platform. It's a broadcast, YouTube, Vimeo, LinkedIn platform that God has given unto me to allow businessmen, businesswomen, those who are in ministry, everyone who have a gift, a dream, a talent inside of them, and they want to impact this generation. They want to empower and sharpen one another with your skills and with your knowledge. I welcome everyone listening on my voice on DFWI Gospel. I welcome everyone on the radio station. I welcome everyone on YouTube looking at us. I hear, have a woman of God here, Kenesha Harrison, attorney at law, all the way from the Caribbean islands of Jamaica. Glory to God. And we're excited because she's here to empower us with knowledge on corporate law and real estate law. Oh, glory to God. So, Kenesha, welcome to Iron Sharpener Broadcast. Thank you so much and, for having um, me. It's a pleasure. Awesome. And I want you to tell us a little bit about your testimony, like what God have done for you before you get into your expertise. Uh, we want to hear like how it was uh, studying and going through your board finals to take the bar exam. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, boy. Ah, this is really a beautiful story and it's really a testimony that I've never shared with the world. But it's funny you ask me because it is a story that I plan to share. But since I'm here on the Iron Sharp now, I moved to share my story with you. And um, so first of all, it was always my dream to become an attorney at law. And it was just a dream. I didn't think it was possible at the time. It was just a dream. Coming from a very poor background, and then on top of that, having gone through teenage pregnancy at the age of 16, I just thought my life was over. Are you there, Sandra? Yes, I'm here. I just want to put you on the camera. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> so I just thought my life was over. Here I was, 16 years old with a child, you know, no fami family support, no money, nothing. I didn't see a way out at the time. But what was important was I did not give up. I did not give up. I stayed positive and I just kept going. I went to school as soon as I had the child and I continued to go to school. In fact, I joked about it to a few friends of mine the other day that I just stopped going to school. I've been an attorney for three years now, and I'm 39 years old, and I've been going to school all my life. So I never stopped, and I never gave up. So I experienced teenage pregnancy. At 16 years old, I became a mother. And... Um, I not only became a mother, I became a single mother because the father of my child died. So you can just imagine how difficult life was for me. And I came from a very humble background. I didn't have any family support really um, with this child or with my education for that matter. But from a very early age, I knew that education was the only way out of poverty and hardship. That's true. They believed it. Mm. And I had no choice because I didn't have any skills that I could pinpoint. I can't do my hair. I can't sing. I can't dance. I can't do, I don't have any other skill. I had to rely on my brain. So I knew I had to my God. go to school. As, in, as impossible as it seemed, I, I kid you not, the Lord just kept paving the way for me financially in every way for me to finish my education. The Lord just kept paving the road. Now, to make a long Amen. short, I was able to take care of my child and 
go through university by working abroad every summer i would do the most menial jobs on these summer programs student exchange programs i would participate in these work and work exchange programs and i would go to the united states for a period of three to four months and i would work two jobs and i will work my fingers yeah. to the there are times when I was sleeping on the floor because we'd share these apartments, 10, 15 of us. And when I say sleep on the floor, I mean, I would buy air beds from Walmart and I would literally wake up on the floor because it would lose the air. <laughs> and I was, I wow. would do that four months and I would save the monies that I made on these trips. I would make anywhere from 5,000 to 8,000 United States dollars every summer. And I used that to finance my education, which still wasn't enough because studying law was a very expensive responsibility. Um, I believe the school fees was 10,000 US dollars per year. Mm. So that's how I was able to take myself through law school doing these jobs overseas, working at uh, McDonald's by day and working at Shoney's by night or Sizzling Grill by night. And by the way, those experiences really made me who I am today. I must tell you that it made me a very hardworking individual because nothing can, can be harder than working two jobs, working 20 hours a day on your feet and I was a very good mm. server and I made, <laughs> I made good tips. I really made good tips wow. up to now. If I go to a restaurant to eat, I will silently judge my server. And I tend to tip very well because of that experience. So that's how I was able to say, how did you juggle school? How did you juggle, um, school kids? and you have to study and work well to, to be very they used to call me sleeping beauty at school because <laughs> <laughs> i used to work at night <laughs> okay wow. but i used to work at night and um i worked at a pub and a casino and i made really good tips mm -hmm. So I was able to pay a nanny to take care of my kids. I was We'll take a commercial break until we get Miss Kanesha Harrison back on Iron Sharpener. Glory to God. There's a few businesses I want to announce. If you're in the Atlanta, Georgia area and you need an automobile, a used automobile you want to contact gmd auto automart gmd automart and the number and is 678 751 1431 678 751 1431 gmd automart used cars are available glory to god if you are in the upstate new york area and you're looking for properties you want to connect with win morrison realty all the way in catskill new york and you want to connect me sandra buchanan 518-267-9181 518-267-9181 if you want to buy land to build new projects if you want to sell your property you want to buy commercial multi-units if you want to buy storage units whatever way you want to invest now is the time it is a seller's market glory to god so i would be your agent upstate new york downstate new york glory to god you want to connect also if you're in the upstate new york area and you need a seamstress you want to connect with leela smith she does dressmaking tailoring seamstress you alter men and women clothing she also do um custom made if you need have fabric you want to make 
a fresh outfit. She does that. If you're out of state, you could ship your measurements and the fabric to her. She will get it done. Her name is Lila Smith and her number is 518-653-0600. Again, 518-653-0600. If you're looking for a caterer for Caribbean dishes, you want to connect with Caribbean Kitchen. And the number is 518-653-3764. 518-653-3764. Caribbean Kitchen. She does catering if you're having a party or an event and you need some delicious Caribbean meals. You want to connect with Margaret Ryman at Caribbean Kitchen. If you need your car to be detailing, like brand new, you want to connect with Dorian Ryman and Auto Rhyme Car Detailing. Auto Rhyme Car Detailing, and his number is 518 653 3764. If you need a tax preparer, it's tax time. You want to connect with Celia Graham in Hudson, New York, and her number is 518 821 5164. Again, 518-821-5164. Sila Graham Tax Preparer. Glory to God. If you're looking for a home church to go to in the Hudson, upstate New York area, and you don't have a place where you go for fellowship, you can fellowship with us at All Nations Church, Hudson, New York. It's at 389 Fairview Avenue, Hudson, New York. 389 Fairview Avenue, Hudson, New York. And it's right in the Bagel Time Plaza on Fairview Avenue. Our worship time is 3 p.m. every Sunday. 3 p.m. every Sunday. And we have a Bible studies every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And we also have Bible studies every Thursday night at 7 p.m. So come and fellowship with us at All Nations Church. It is glorious. Glory to God. If you are in the Hudson, New York area and you're looking for a day spa, Serenity Wellness Center Day Spa, a spa like no other, Serenity Wellness Day Spa is also mobile. We could come to you for spa parties. You may be looking for a gift to buy a loved one, a friend, a mother, father, a, whoever it is. We sell gift certificates, they're on sale for Father's Day, for Mother's Day, for Easter, for every occasion. Gift certificates are online at Serenity Wellness Center Day Spa.com. Again, Serenity Wellness Center Day Spa.com. A spa like no other. It's in Hudson, New York. Glory to God. And the website is www.serenitywellnesscenterdayspa.com. Okay, so can you please pick up where you left off? Yes. I was After you passed the bar exam. How did I manage to be a single mom and go into law school? And I tell you, I tell yes. you, you know, I slept out. I slept out much of my schooling. I, my presence was just to mark the register, but I, I wasn't there. I, my, I was sleeping. They call me sleeping beauty. Right. I slept out most of my classes. Yes. But the great thing about my my technique and my strategy for passing law school and passing it so well was I bought all of my books. I bought cash books. I invested in all of my books. And so with doing that, I was able to study when I'm not at school, I was able to study at work at night. When it was slow at work, I would read and read a lot too. Mm -hmm. So that was my strategy for getting in the work, even though I was really tired during the daytime. So I was able to pass, pass through school because I did put in the work at work. <laughs> you know, every time you see me at work, I had a book studying so that was my strategy and on top of that you know god blessed me with a very good brain so i was a very bright student from the day i know I used to say i was very bright um so that was that 
Yes. And then by the time I was finished law school. So you have an excellent spirit. Yeah. Yes. So by the time I was finished law school, I found myself with three kids now. <laughs> so I'm turning to three, but if you look at it, I wouldn't have it any other way because by the time I finished law school, I was 36 years old and one would consider that advanced maternal age. So if I were to wait until I was finished school, I'd probably just be trying now for my child, you know? So I'm right. children and um, I'm grateful to God for taking me through that journey and taking me to the end successfully. And even when I was finished, I still had to call upon God and I said, okay, God, I'm done now. I'm a lawyer now. Where do I go? Because if you understand that law has many facets and I knew that I wanted to be a sole practitioner. I knew that I did not want to join a firm because of my role as a mother. I wanted to be very flexible. If the teacher calls me and say, oh, my daughter is not feeling well, I need to pick her up. I wanted to be able to do that. You know, it, I really wanted the flexibility to be a mother to my children and I didn't want a nine to five job, so to speak. So I decided that I was gonna go into a sole practice. And on top of that, I decided mm. that I'm not going to practice all areas of law where I would be tied up in court. I wanted to do conveyancing law because with that, I get to exercise the marketing aspect of me, which is my first degree. And if you, if you think about it, helping a customer or client find a piece of property and walking them through that sale, it's much like marketing, right? And I find enjoyment in this area of law. And so that is what I specialize in, um, conveyancing law, real property law. And also I- Okay, so can you break down the conveyancing law for us? What it is, somebody don't know what it is about. Tell us okay. what it is. So as a conveyancing attorney, I would represent the best interest of the vendor or the purchaser, whoever I'm acting for at the time, right? So if they're buying property. If they're selling. buying a property, I would represent the purchaser in that respect. So I will give them the advice that they need to make sure that they're buying something that, you know, they're buying from someone that actually owns the property um i would advise them on the different um assessments that needs to be done on the property to make sure that they're getting the value for their money so i'll advise them on those issues i review the sale agreement which is generally prepared by the the person selling the property so i will review it with my purchaser's best interest in mind i would look for any clauses that may be detrimental to them should the sale fall apart and to make sure that they're able to recover their deposit and not and not experience any loss so to speak if the sale is not successful and also it will seek i will seek to protect them so that in the event they buy something and there should be a fault notice at a later date after the sale is completed, there is some recourse for them. So this is how I represent the purchaser. Likewise for the vendor, I'll act as the attorney with carriage of sale. I'll make sure that the relevant documents are sent to the relevant authorities and the relevant parties, the purchaser, any mortgagee involved, that is what I would do when I'm representing the, the vendor. Welcome everyone again to Iron Sharpener. We have a great guest on the line, Kanisha Harrison, all the way from the Caribbean of the island of Jamaica. She's an attorney and she was telling us about what she practices, a different type of law that she practices. Okay, so for the listeners who 
Uh, maybe they are affiliated with Jamaica, they are from Jamaica, they may have property in Jamaica, and you're looking for someone to manage your property. In fact, I'm advising you that you should find someone to oversee your property because the way the law is in Jamaica, if you don't use your land, you lose it. I will say that again. If you don't use your property in Jamaica, you lose it. So you cannot sit comfortably and think, okay, I have the title, I'm paying the land taxes, my property is secure. In Jamaica, the law says if someone is allowed to live on your property or to occupy your property for a period of 12 years undisturbed, they're not paying rent, they're undisturbed, they can defeat your title. They can defeat your title and they can apply for a title and extinguish your right to that property. So but how can you override that with foreigners here in the US and we have properties and for say we allow someone to oversee the property and they live there? How can we override that? My advice is if you have property in Jamaica, you should put it to use, whether by way of leasing it Rentals. to the person that is on okay. the property, or if no one is on the property, you might want to consider leasing it making some use of the property right outside of that yes to be involved with the collection of rent or anything like that it's always okay to try and seek to sell the property there are a lot of developments going on in jamaica now the real estate industry is very lucrative and fruitful you can see to do a joint venture arrangement where some someone build a complex of some sort on the land and um, you can arrange to get one of the units for yourself so when you visit Jamaica you will have that as your place to stay instead of an Airbnb and you will get income from it I mean a land is only I'm interested in that it benefits you information of that I'm interested in those information for myself actually yes so yeah. the airbnb industry is very lucrative in jamaica and persons who are interested they can find an attorney or a realtor to walk them through the buying process in jamaica they can invest in a nice one bedroom to do airbnb and have a management company manage it for them you notice i don't say relatives it is always best <laughs> When you're handling money to see property manager to handle these monies persons that you can keep accountable it's very difficult to to keep uncle benji accountable for the monies he's collecting for you right yeah so many horror stories of persons sending their monies to jamaica to build these returning residences only to realize that you know you have sent two million dollars and when you look at the work that is yeah. done it's only one million dollars worth of work that is done so if you have property in jamaica you might want to reach out to an attorney or um a real estate broker to see how this land can work for you it's sitting there you stand to lose it it's a liability to you rather than an asset because you're paying land tax and you're paying upkeep you probably have to weed out the land every three months or so so i think it's worthwhile to consider you know making this land an investment and an asset rather than a liability and that's where i come in that's okay, right. can you give us your information? I, I, Do you have a business card, a flyer, how they a phone number, how they we could okay, get in I touch have with a you? That I can share with your listeners. Um, yes. You can via email as well. Yes. Can you share your accept, email and your phone number? Accept FaceTime calls and and stuff of that nature. 
this is my business card but okay. i already changed my number i'm unable to even but you can view the um you can view the email address yes. on here you can take a screenshot of this information that is can you email. just uh tell us what it is um the number is eight seven six so my phone number is eight seven six, which is Jamaica's area code, seven two seven six five two three. That is my phone number. That seven two seven. My landline. My cell number. Is that WhatsApp? My WhatsApp. Tell us your WhatsApp. Okay, yes. my WhatsApp is three eight seven six three eight one seven two eight nine that's my whatsapp say it again three eight one seven two eight nine and my email and address okay i'm a sole practitioner um the name of my practice is kenisha harrison attorney at law my email address okay. is kk harrison law mm -hmm. at gmail.com Okay, so I'll definitely type that on my Facebook page, akharrisonlaw at gmail.com for those who are interested in buying properties in Jamaica. kkharrisonlaw at gmail.com because we need an attorney on ground to take care of our documents and our sales and our closing and our conveyors. Amen. Also, our number is 876. 381 7289 7289 glory to god yes. so i'm excited we have an attorney that's in the caribbean and if we want to buy other properties outside of jamaica you can help with that as well right like yes other definitely. i work closely with realtors i have realtors in florida i have realtors here in jamaica okay. i have realtors um, in the Caribbean as well. Of course, me, New York. <laughs> yes. New York. But for those, yeah, I am. <laughs> yes. So definitely if um, I know people that want to buy properties in Jamaica, I'll pass on your information. Um, what's the market like? You said it's a lucrative market now for sellers or for buyers? <laughs> The market is very attractive right now. Investing in real estate in Jamaica is one of the safest places to put your money. If you are a low-risk investor, you should seek to invest in real estate. You will realize an appreciation in as little as one year. High percentage, high-yielding, high yielding return on your investment in a very short yes. time the real estate market in jamaica this beautiful tropical island is beaming with beautiful real estate and the chinese are here and they're making wow. these amazing high rise now they're all over the the north coast the south coast kingston Airbnb is very is a very lucrative market there. If or you can always choose to do long term rentals if you if you can, you know, be bothered with the Airbnb situation. Yes, I'm leaning towards the Airbnb more because if you're buying a property simply as a vacation home, I believe property should be able to pay for itself. That's true. So if you're only coming to Jamaica once or twice for the year, uh, you know, you could put the property to work and you'd be surprised about from the yield. When you come back to visit, you don't have to have spending money. The money will be there. When you come back to visit, a matter of fact, you, you <laughs> probably can withdraw from your account and take care of your bills in your home country amen that sounds awesome you really inspire me with this information i'm so inspired do you have any um information about funding like loans what are the best type of loans now out there that they're given is it for foreigners um of other countries or yes. is it just for um, 
residents that live there. You have there that are willing to lend to foreigners with your overseas credentials. Okay. It is so easy. I'm not going to say you will get the same um, amount or benefits as a Jamaican. Where a Jamaican may get 95% of a mortgage, you may get 80%. So you do have to come in okay. with a little cash when you're buying here. But remember, one of your dollar is a lot of our dollars. So your little I cash like that. is a long way in Jamaica. That's true. So can you give us some name of banks that you work with that you recommend or you um, work yeah. with any banks? Jamaica National is a good is a good bank to approach because you know yeah. they were a building society at one point before they transitioned into a commercial bank and they still maintain a presence overseas. I believe Jamaica National is the only local bank that has a presence in the United States at this time. So Jamaica National is a good bank to approach. Also, NCB is a Jamaican bank. And because it is a Jamaican bank, um, their loan processing seems to be a bit speedier. And you know, buying land and, and doing um, conveyancing transactions, time is of the essence with these transactions. Contractually, everything is tied to time. So right. NCB is a good option because NCB is a Jamaican bank and all their loan processing and approval processes take place in Jamaica. Although CIBC First Caribbean is a Canadian bank, I, I, their processing times are a bit longer, but I believe their, their terms and their requirements are a bit more flexible. So wow. trade off. I think this is your area and it's a strong area. And my prayer for you is to really get developed in this area. And the next time when I have you on Iron Sharpener, I want you to come back with all the things that foreigners need, like, like an educational interview that we need a checklist, what we need to present to the banks. You understand? Okay. So you're going to get your stuff together, your homework. So each, both banks you recommend, you talk about. Whatever we need, you're going to list it. You're going to tell us about it. The, all the forms, the documents that we need, because I think we could do it from overseas and just apply. So if you can mm -hmm. get that done and then we can fax the documents to you, Attorney Kenisha, you could submit these documents and we're in business. Yes. So I just... I know God has given it to you. Marketing skills, attorneys. I mean, my God, you are a package in, in yourself, a fully package. We don't even have to leave the country. Just it's fax true. it over to you and you make true. the deal. You make the, and you do the closings. So it's, you're really an asset. And I really want you to enlarge your course and really push because you are a package, a full package. Like you don't even realize what God have placed in your hands. You're a value, a woman of power and value. And I'm speaking that into your life right now because this is what God is showing me. God is showing me that this is your strongest area. And he wants to, you know, break you out and into it because you're a woman, you're, a, you're worth billions. You're sitting on, you don't even know it yet. Glory I to God. It. I claim it. <laughs> Yes, so it's time for you to to be a spokeswoman. Even you know, come on the broadcast as much as you can and speak and educate us and sell 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 you your company, your firm. You understand what I'm saying? Because we really don't have the time to be traveling a lot and coming down there to look at properties. You could just send them via email, give us all the docs. Tell us how to send the funds and the deposits and you're in business. Yes, so I I definitely want... could be the, the agent for person. Yes, everything. 
Uh, exactly. And if you have someone working for you to go and look at these properties and, you know what I'm saying, then do the inspection and all that inside work, you get all the, the reports. We send the funds, you get all the reports, everything done, the appraisal, the inspection, the conveyor, everything. And then you just, you do the closing attorney, Anisha, that's it. So yeah. God wants to enlarge in your coast international sales. We're talking not just the Caribbean. God wants yeah. you to have sales in in America, and Canada, France, Europe, the Middle East. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah. you have to and you have to speak and sell your product on every media you can think of: Instagram, Facebook. Just sell your product come on it as often as you can and say this is what i'm offering i'm from the caribbean and this is what's happening over here so what are, same thing you tell us what we need to hear it every day <laughs> every day and you see what god will do for you i'm not just speaking i'm speaking by the spirit so i just want to pray for you in a woman of god woman of power woman of value and substance. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank attorney Kenesha Harrison for her time, for being a blessing and iron sharpener to give us the knowledge and wisdom and what's going on in the market in the Caribbean. And Father, we are thankful. And by because, Lord, she have made it her time to be available, such a time as this to be an iron sharpener. I declare and I decree that God will give you double. He will break forth your name, not only in the islands, but also in the nations of every state. Glory to God. They will hear about you and know what you carry and all that you can offer in your career, in everything that you have done, what you have given, because you make yourself available for today. And God is honoring your sacrifice. It's a sacrifice to be on the broadcast because you're a busy woman. So Father, bless her abundantly. Enlarge her coast. Nations, Lord. France, Europe, London, British, Italy, the North America, South America. Lord, give her the nations. Glory to God. And she shall have sales and contracts and deals and closing like fishes in the sea. And you are unstoppable. And I break every attack of the enemy concerning your business. And I call you blessed. And I declare and I decree that the hands of the Lord will be upon you and upon your business and your family mightily in the name of the Lord Jesus. I plead the blood over your life and your family and your business. Glory to God. And I declare and I decree that man, God will send destiny helpers to push you forth in this season. Glory to God. We will hear about you on the news, in the paper, and billboards all around. Glory to God. Because God has given you much. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. So um, so next time when you come and iron sharpener, I want to hear about the other areas of law. Corporate law, wills, estate, you know what I'm saying? All of these other things. Yeah. Everything that you do. Okay. I will tell you <laughs> how. To God. There's a few businesses I want to announce. If you're in the Atlanta, Georgia area and you need an automobile, a used automobile, you want to contact GMD Auto, Auto Mart. GMD Auto Mart. And the number is 678 751 1431. 678 751 1431. GMD auto mart used cars are available glory to god if you are in the upstate new york area and you're looking for properties you want to connect with win morrison realty all the way in catskill new york and you want to connect me sandra buchanan 518-267-9181 518-267-9181 if you want to buy land to build new projects, if you want to sell your property, you want to buy commercial multi-units, if you want to buy storage units, whatever way you want to invest. Now is the time. It is a seller's market. Glory to God. So 
I will be your agent. Upstate New York, downstate New York. Glory to God. You want to connect. Also, if you're in the upstate New York area and you need a seamstress, you want to connect with Leela Smith. She does dressmaking, tailoring, seamstress. She alter men and women clothing. She also do um, custom made. If you need have fabric, you want to make a fresh outfit. She does that. If you're out of state, you could ship your measurements and the fabric to her. She will get it done. Her name is Leela Smith. And her number is 518-653-0600. Again, 518-653-0600. If you're looking for a caterer for Caribbean dishes, you want to connect with Caribbean Kitchen. And the number is 518-653-3764. 518-653-3764. Three seven six four Caribbean Kitchen. She does catering. If you're having a party or an event and you need some delicious Caribbean meals, you want to connect with Margaret Ryman at Caribbean Kitchen. If you need your car to be detailing, like brand new, you want to connect with Dorian Ryman at Auto Rhyme Car Detailing. Auto Rhyme Car Detailing, and his number is five one eight. Six five three three seven six four. If you need a tax preparer, it's tax time. You want to connect with Celia Graham in Hudson, New York, and her number is five one eight eight two one five one six four. Again, five one eight eight two one five one six four. Celia Graham, tax preparer. Glory to God. If you're looking for a home church to go to in the Hudson, upstate New York area, you don't have a place where you go for fellowship. You can fellowship with us at All Nations Church, Hudson, New York. It's at 389 Fairview Avenue, Hudson, New York. 389 Fairview Avenue, Hudson, New York. And it's right in the Bagel Time Plaza on Fairview Avenue. Our worship time is 3 p.m. every Sunday. 3 p.m. every Sunday. And we have a Bible studies every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And we also have Bible studies every Thursday night at 7 p.m. So come and fellowship with us at All Nations Church. It is glorious. Glory to God. If you are in the Hudson, New York area and you're looking for a day spa, Serenity Wellness Center Day Spa, a spa like no other, Serenity Wellness Day Spa is also mobile. We could come to you for spa parties. You may be looking for a gift to buy a loved one, a friend, a mother, father, a, whoever it is. We sell gift certificates. They're on sale for Father's Day, for Mother's Day, for Easter, for every occasion. Gift certificates are online at Serenity Wellness Center Day Spa.com. Again, Serenity Wellness Center Day Spa. Dot com a spa like no other it's in hudson new york glory to god and the website is www.serenitywellnesscenterdayspa.com welcome back to iron sharpener i just want to do a few more commercials before we um close out um i just want to announce jay's cuisine it's a catering american dish dishes jay's cuisine you could call and order America's American, American meal, sandwiches, pastas, salads, chicken, delicious. And the number is 518-828-1926. Jay's Cuisine, 518-828-1926 in the Hudson area. Another business I want to announce is Serenity Medical Day Spa by Dr. Tanya Mays, OBGYN, board certified and laser skin care. She's at 968 Columbia Street, Hudson, New York. The number is 518-567-6704. Glory to God. Dr. Tanya Mays, Serenity Wellness Medical Day Spa. OBGYN board certified. You could look her up. Glory to God in Hudson, New York. Also, I want to announce uh, Kenesha, attorney at law. She was on the broadcast today. 
if you need to buy properties in the Caribbean or properties here, glory to God, and you're out, out of the country, she could assist you. Her name is Kanisha Harrison, attorney at law, and her number, WhatsApp number is 1-876-381-7289. Again, 1-876-381-7289. 1-876-381-7289. Kanisha Harrison, attorney at law, and her email is kk harrison law at gmail.com kk harrison law at gmail.com and those are the announcements the commercials for today and iron sharpener if you would like to be a guest on iron sharpener you have a gift in our talents you want to share you want to email us at iron sharpener 21 at gmail.com or you could call 518-703-8487 518-703-8487. If you have a business you want to advertise in our broadcast, an event, a party, something that you're having, you also want to call 518-703-8487. On April 17, our nation's church, we're having an Easter concert. If you're in the Hudson area, Hudson area, upstate area of New York. On Nations Church, we're having an Easter concert on April 17 at 3 p.m. It will be glorious. Please join us. So thank you, everyone, for joining us at DWDFWI Gospel Radio Station. I want to thank you for joining us on YouTube and Vimeo. Glory to God. We thank God that you're part of our listeners. We thank you for joining us every week on this broadcast. So stay tuned for next week and we'll have another guest on. Have a blessed day. Bye.